In that moment, um, Dante was the leader of our pro day. So he selected the drills, so he had hands-on experience, but I can do. And I got a call from Bill, and they said, uh, you know, there's this tackle down in Houston. He, he's an okay player. He um, uh, played in the East-West game, didn't go to the combine. And, um, you know, take a look at the East-West game. And, and after you do that, I'd like you to go see him. You know, his pro day is such and such a day. And uh, so I, I looked at the tape and I said, okay, this guy's not bad. You know, he's, he's big, he's long, he's a tackle. Can he play left tackle? I don't know. He plays left tackle at Houston and it's a pretty good league. And so I said, you know, this is a guy that is an interesting guy. So at first you do your pro day, just, just like the combine. Then you do uh, O-line drills. And then you're done with that. And then you go to the, into like a classroom and, you know, he explains different protections. And what I didn't realize is, you know, he explains it. And you're like, yeah, sure, sure, sure. And then, you know, perhaps it all clean. It's like, okay, explain that to me. And he's like, oh gosh, what do you mean? <laughs> Um, but obviously that you know went pretty well, and um, but then I didn't hear anything from the Patriots for you know like a month, well till draft day. Obviously, you know the mission's multifolded, and it, from this standpoint, is there a language barrier? Okay, is there a learning curve? Because he didn't play high school football; he played club football in Germany, which are all the kids that if you have a passion for it, that's your only venue or avenue to, to play. And, uh, and I have been to Germany to, my son worked for the Berlin Thunder in video, and I've seen the passion of the German people relative to American football. I mean, I sat, when the Berlin Thunder played the Frankfurt, whatever they were, Galaxy or something, I mean, there was a load of people from Frankfurt that came up to Berlin to see this game, and they were passionate about it. And that's the same passion that Sebastian had in terms of wanting to be an American, uh, American football player. And uh, so, so I said, all right, I got a lot of tasks here. I, got, I, have a, I scheduled an interview with him. At that interview, I, I asked him about his background, you know, club football, uh, you know, wanted desperately to play in the NFL, went to a, a tryout in Germany where a, after his quote, high school, his, uh, where uh, coincidentally, a Houston University football coach was there and said, we're not getting a guy like this out of Texas because th those guys are going to A&M, they're going to Texas, uh, all the Southwest Conference schools or Big 12 now, and we ain't get, we're not getting this guy. And so, or a guy like that. So, uh, so they offered him a scholarship. And he went there, and, and there is a bit of a language barrier when he got there, but this is an awful bright kid who could speak enough English, but learned as much English as he wanted to by turning on American TV and taking it all in. And he says, Coach, that's how I learned to speak English, American TV. And so I said, okay, now I gotta find out if there's a language barrier here. So I put him through a football exercise on the board that I've put everyone through. And I teach them one of our pass protection systems, the hardest one there is to learn, which is empty protection. Teach them everything, the calls, the wherefores, the whys, everything. It takes about a half hour for me to teach it to them. And then what I do is I have them spit it back to me relative to a series of questions that I asked about what I just taught him. And he killed it. You know, I'm thinking, okay, well, there's no language barrier and there's no intelligence barrier. This is an awful bright kid that can understand what you're saying, can process it, and he would be fine relative to learning our system. And that's key. So then the next thing is I, uh, they, they take him into the weight room, he goes through the jumps, uh, vertical jump, standing broad jump, and he does the bench and he does like, it's like in the mid 30s on the bench, he's got 36 inch arms, and. And he's cranked down, and he's a, an impressive looking kid. I mean, he's, he's tall, he's not linear, but he's thick everywhere. And I'm looking at this and I'm saying, well, check box two, because he certainly is going to have strength for this. And then uh, I, we went on the field, and because I was only, the only line coach, I, whatever I wanted him to do, he did. And, he, you know, and I, I could see specific things that I wanted to see. And then after that was over, I just said, 
I, you know, thanked them for doing everything I asked them to do, and I, and I told them, I hope we get you. I really do. And so I went back, and Bill said, uh, well, you know, this was like the next week, and he goes, what do you think? And I said, I said, I'd really like to see this guy on our football team. You know, he's, he checks his, all the boxes, Bill. In his play against college players, you see toughness, athleticism, enough athleticism to play the position, either right or left tackle. And uh, I don't have any doubt he could learn our system, not one doubt in the world. And, um, you know, given the fact that everyone's looking for tackles, I said, this may be a guy that we can get somewhere in the draft that um, would fill a lot of needs for us. Matt, this is going to involve us here, so. Well, okay, we're getting ready to, uh, we're getting ready to start here in the second round. Hey, welcome to the Patriots. Tell us just a little bit about Vollmer because he's one of the few we didn't have film of. From Germany, I, I didn't realize your scouting went that far. Uh, Vollmer, uh, you know, played the East-West game and, uh, and uh, has played both left tackle and right tackle in, in uh, college and also in the All-Star game. So we think he gives us some uh, flexibility. He's also, uh, you know, a big man that works hard and uh, brings some size and toughness. So uh, we look forward to seeing him compete on the offensive line. Um, so at my base layer, kind of, I, I, I thought I was going to be drafted by, you know, that round, which was the third round. And, um, but then I'm on draft day. Oh, I remember I'm actually like in the workout, in, in, the, in the weight room, and I get a call, and I think it was the Steelers in that point. And, and they were just, you know, hey, uh, do you speak English? I was like, no, yes, sir. Okay, bye. They're like, all right. But it's like the last minute questions probably that go on in the war room, right? Did anybody like ask the guy or whatever it is? Um, so that was quite interesting. But again, I didn't think the Patriots were going to draft me like you were saying, right? I, had a, I felt like I had a good conversation. He, he taught me a lot. Workouts went well, but then nothing. And maybe that's tactic. Maybe they didn't want to draft me till draft day, right? I mean, who knows? And I'm sure that's, you have an ideal way of how your draft is going to go. But you know, if somebody else drafts the player, you won. No, you got to scramble to do something else. Um, and, and, and who knows how it works out in the end. And, you know, here we are in the draft on the second day. He takes him late in the second round. And I think a lot of other people, I think a lot of people were probably skeptical of the choice. But, you know, as far as I was concerned, I said, you, we're not going to get a guy like this. You know, if, at that choice right there, because if this kid had played four years at Ohio State, he'd be somewhere ahead of this. And that's just how I felt about it. So he, he came in and to his credit, he did everything that we could ever want a guy to do and had a nice career, really a good career. You know, the back thing hurt him quite a bit uh, towards the end, but special guy, special player, passion for football, still has a passion for football. Does a lot of the German broadcasts from, from NFL games. and. I just think he's one of the best people I've ever been around. I really like him.